training for me is like a religious experience, a spiritual journey, so to speak. I start each day with a prayer of intention, asking God for strength, fearlessness, and the confidence to be bold. I want to be more like him with every passing day. I meditate to center myself, to quiet my mind, my restless soul. Restless soul, I'm always thinking about yesterday, today. Did I hurt someone's feelings? Did I say enough? Did I do enough? Always, when I recenter myself. Prayer is when we talk. Meditation is our time, our time to listen. He's always leading me in everything I do. There's no way I'm walking out that door without God's word whispering in my ear. Once I've rooted myself in a shield of positivity, I typically have one cup of coffee and two cups of warm water. As I'm doing this, I pray and meditate more. I visualize myself successfully completing my workout, successfully completing each rep, each set. And I visualize myself on stage. And I visualize myself victorious. Sometimes it feels so real, so real. I already feel like a winner. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I'm ready to get my nutrition, my fuel into my body. I use Isogenics because it's clean and organic and free of artificial colors and flavors. And as a health professional, I can't justify putting toxins and chemicals in my body that don't support my health and overall goal. My health comes before my physique because once the stage is gone, my body will still be here and I want it in the best condition possible. Longevity and vitality as I get older become much more important. Once I'm all fueled up, I'm ready to work out, whether I'm hitting the gym, at home, or outdoors. This is my time to bring all of that positive energy that I've collected throughout my morning and release it at the gym. It's about every dream I have, everything, every person I love, every bit of love really within my body is released in my workouts. It's, it's coming through the strength that I need. Whatever it is that I'm looking for to, to recenter, again, it's like a moment, it's like meditation and movement. My workouts are literally a sweat fest of meditation. I, I don't allow anything negative to come into my mind. I don't allow any disruptions. I don't like working out with people. I'm going to keep it real. If I'm not working out as a trainer with you, meaning I'm coaching you, you won't see me with another person working out. My workouts are for me and me alone. And as a coach, that's when I get to be there for other people. But when it comes to coaching myself, it's me and God, the sweat machines, the dumbbells, the barbells, whatever. That's what I'm there for. It's, it's another moment of growth for me. If I had to describe my workouts, I would say they are intense with little breaks, 10 to 30 seconds tops, yet very simple. It's not about completing 10 or 15 different exercises. It's about completing one to six with perfect form and deliberate intention. It's about listening to your body and what it needs today or in that moment. I don't ever follow a strict plan. I don't carry a notebook or write it in a journal. 
My workouts change every single day. There's an element of what I would say spontaneity with them that keeps my body guessing and allows me to be in my playful, imaginative, creative, childlike zone, and that's when I feel most like myself. And my workouts are no longer a chore, but a moment of growth, learning, and release. And this is how it maintains its joy. My joy is always there. It's something I love to do, and every single day, I want to do it. Every single day, it's something that I need to do. All right, I'm finished with my workout and it's time to refuel. If you've noticed, pre-workout I have a shake and post-workout I do the same. Same brand, different formula. I choose shakes pre and post-workout because they're easily digestible and all of the nutrients, the vitamins and minerals that really make the difference in your body are easily absorbed without having to go through the process of breaking it down. After my post-workout shake, I weigh probably another two hours or so before having my actual breakfast, which includes whole foods that I actually have to chew up to get down. Um, so be sure to stay tuned for upcoming videos in which I'll be sharing meal tips and ideas with you. Hey guys, I'm back from my workout. I'm feeling really jazzed. I'm feeling really excited and pumped up. I'm just finishing up a blog entry on the Bikini Beehive. And speaking of entries, I'm about to fill out my 2015 NPC National Bikini Championships entry form. I have a lot of emotions about this. I'm really anxious, I'm really nervous, but mainly I'm excited. This is my first attempt to try to get my IFBB Pro card. I'm really, really excited. It's November. I've got the flyer. I'm ready to put this in my vision book. Here it is. It's November 20th and 21st, this 2015. We're about 10 weeks out. Um, the thing I love about entry forms is that once you fill it out, you put in the check, and you throw it in the mail, it's like make the commitment, and there's no turning back. So I'm ready to do this. 10 weeks out. I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get started on filling out the application, um, and I'm going to throw it in the mail. Yeah! I'm like a woman on a mission. Look how I'm walking. <laughs> so here I am at the UPS store prepping my entry form for mailing. You know, I just want to mention something that's off but on topic, and it's this. I'm just your average woman. I'm no supermodel or beauty queen by any stretch of the imagination. The fitness industry is full of beautiful women. How am I ever to compete? I would ask myself this a million times. When getting into this sport, I had major insecurities. I still do to some degree, and it's something I'm constantly working on. Not to compare yourself to others is so important, so important. And I would always wonder, you know, did I have the right look, the right aesthetics? Was I the right height? Was I the right color? All of these things, you know, did, you know, how was I going to stand out in a crowd of amazing, accomplished, beautiful women? How was I going to stand out? I had a dream though. I could see myself on stage. And my dreams trumped my insecurities. So whether my insecurities were self-created or fed by society, I just wanted to break free. For some, competing and going pro is nothing. But for me, it's a test of will, boldness, and faith in my dreams. It's not about winning. It's not about whether I become a pro or not. It's about building character. It's about self-development and mostly self-love. It's about having the belief in myself to go after something in most cases I may have talked myself out of. When I began this particular journey in 2012, I wasn't sure was I even going to make it to this point. But here I am, essentially only one competition, one step away from accomplishing one of my major goals. So with that, I hope to inspire someone, 
even just one person to go after it, whatever their dreams or goals may be. Go after it. Don't let anyone, not even yourself, tell you you can't do it. Get focused and go after it. I would love for you to follow me on this nine and a half week journey. I would love the support and encouragement. Leave me some messages at the bottom. Please trolls, stay far away. Positive people bring positive people. I'm just a happy person who wants to do some good in the world. So trolls, stay away, all others. Follow my journey. I love the support. So it's official. My entry form is sent in. That means my commitment is real. I'm nine weeks out at this point. Well, nine and a half weeks out at this point. That means I'm gonna push it really hard. I'm hoping to take home the first or second place trophy. Well, in other words, I'm ready to take home an IFBB Pro card.